Now I've taken the piston off. The next thing that I want to do is check the piston and the uh, top bearing here and everything else. The piston right here, I don't know if you can see it that well, but the inside of it is carbonized and cracked. It was um, getting getting too hot. You can see the hot spot right there. That's a hot spot. On the other side's a hot spot. But if we look at the st the stock grunge pin right here, you can see that it's in this one area. It's beaten down. Now the nice thing about this grunge pin is it isn't totally blue, totally blue black. That means it wasn't getting hot. What it meant was this little piston right here was banging against the back of the cylinder just a little, just a little bit so that's the way we're going to do it and so this bearing and this grunge pin are shot but it's not too hot and then I, looking down the bore, I can move the this arm away and look straight down the bottom and see if I see anything down in there. Because I'm thinking, well, I don't know if I want to tear it all the way down. And I don't see anything down there, but I'm a little bit suspect about the seal in here. And to get the, to, to get at that seal, I have to take off this nut and use a puller and pull this magnetic deal out. That's not a problem, it only takes a couple of seconds. Getting the this back in with um, the key, the Woodruff key that has in it, is very hard because of all the magnet. You get very close to the key, you think, and this wants to pull you one way or another. And it's really a pain in the ass to do. It either goes or it doesn't. So that's where I'm at right now. The next step, I'm going to tear down the I'll tear the the alternator out, flywheel, and check the seal on that, replace the seal one way or the other. And then I've re I've looked into um, gasket materials such as I can get some Viton O-ring rounds that aren't O-rings, but they're just a big sheet of Viton, and I can cut a ring right here for this little this little tiny squib right here all the way around, and these. And then I found some um, copper woven head gasket material that I can buy and cut out a really nice one and that way I think that all the head will be off the off the top here very little and it'll all work out so that's the next that's the next step in in rebuilding and if I find any more problems or anything that uh, looks out of place then I'll just have to stop and maybe do a, a total re rebuild we'll see we'll see I'll do whatever it takes to make it right